Hey everyone, in this video I am going to explain the issues in 2.5 2FM that many players have experienced and that are not existent in the original 2FM. The main reason I'm doing this is at the time of this video, Square has stated there's a possibility of a PS4 port of 2.5, and it would be great if they could somehow be aware of the problems in 2.5 that can easily be fixed if they were to do a PS4 port. It's a long shot, but at the very least it's nice to inform people about these issues so that they are aware they did not exist in the original 2FM. The point of this video is also not to get 2.5 patched on PS3 as Square has unfortunately shown no interest in patching their ports. So in this video I ask you to toss aside your fanboyism if you have any and look at these issues objectively regardless of how much we all enjoyed playing 2.5. You should always strive to want the best product for your money from your gaming company instead of a rushed port with bugs, glitches, and bad lows. Especially if you intend to rebuy this if it's released on PS4. I have a lot to discuss in this video, so let's jump into it right away. So probably one of the biggest issues in this game is that there are crashes that exist. In my 2.5 good and bad video, I stated a positive of 2.5 being that it was stable. As it turns out, 2.5 English version is much less stable and actually has at least one common crash that many players have run into. Considering these crashes did not exist in 2.5 Japanese, it is unacceptable that they exist in the English version when nothing but text should have been changed. The two main crashes I know of from original 2FM still exist in both versions of 2.5, which one is on the experiment and the other is on Zigbar. Any other crashes are exclusive to 2.5. I only play the Japanese version of 2.5 and have not run into any 2.5 crashes on it though. However, on the English version I have seen many players crash their game on the first Zemnus fight. We don't know exactly what causes it, but we do know it involves going into limit form and then doing the building reaction command. As it turns out, many people, as well as speedrunners, use limit form in this fight. So that means if you use limit form in this fight, you risk crashing your game. This is incredibly unacceptable because drive forms are a big mechanic of the game and should never lead to crashes. I have heard of crashes on the menu, and although I have not seen that from others, I don't doubt it since I've personally had it happen in KH 1.5, which is another port that is littered with crashes and bugs. So with all of this said, it would be great if Square were to fix this if a PS4 port is to be made. Next, we have load times as a huge issue in 2.5. When I made my good and bad video, I think many fanboys didn't quite understand the concept of why load times are an issue. So allow me to go into more detail, but first, let me state that if this game does come out on PS4, it will have mandatory data install, which would likely solve any load time issues and speed up the gameplay greatly. So there are two different kinds of load times to compare. There are load times such as screen transitions which affect gameplay time, and then there are load times such as going into a drive form which affect gameplay itself. First I'll discuss the time issue of loads. As it turns out, 2.5 is the longest KH2 game by a landslide. I played 2FM on PS2 a ton and transitioning from that game to 2.5 was quite a chore because it takes an incredible amount of more time to accomplish things in 2.5. In a speedrun where we optimally play through the game fast, we lose 40 minutes on Japanese and 1 hour on English in roughly 4-5 to five hour play session. And that's a speedrun. Casually, you're looking at hours of extra time spent staring at black load screens and accomplishing much less in the game. Many people hate how long it takes to get back into dead org fights or terra slash lingering sentiment because of how slow the game loads, while in original 2FM they were not nearly as bad and allowed you to attempt fighting them much faster. It is a bit ridiculous when the newest version of a game has significantly slower load times. Some people may throw out the ignorant argument of just be patient, and while they're technically not wrong, some people have lives and are going to get annoyed when they spend days on a fight such as Terra, when typically it takes people over 100 attempts to beat the first time. It gets worse though, it's one thing if you have a ton of free time to sit through extra hours of load times per play session compared to the original, it's another when it actually affects gameplay itself. The load times for drive forms are so incredibly bad they don't work as intended by the game mechanics anymore and result in the player getting punished instead of getting an opening. In PS2 KH2s, a drive explosion had the ability to stagger bosses and enemies up into the air, allowing you a free opening to punish them just like any other stagger. However, the load times are so atrocious with drive forms now that you actually get punished back for going into a drive form, oftentimes making the point of going into the drive form pointless and a detriment to surviving. Do note there's a mechanic called pause buffering which is not intended at all but can bypass crappy drive loads. This still doesn't excuse the issue because many players I've watched never really figure it out until someone else tells them about it but it is a workaround. All you have to do is pause a tad after you go into a drive and it will continue to load it while the game is paused. 
Just when you thought I couldn't say any more about the load times, 2.5 English actually made the load times even worse. Our theory is that they load the English text on top of the loading Japanese text, which slows down loading everywhere. What's worse is that 2.5 English has these lag pauses at the beginning of various fights in the game that don't exist in 2.5 Japanese. Such fights include Cerberus, Hydra, Larxene AS fight, Riku Summit fight, and much more. The good news is that they are consistent lag pauses, but the fact that they exist is poor porting since it should be completely avoidable. That concludes my rant on the load times. Most of this could very well be pointless with a PS4 version having mandatory data install, but it was worth noting all of the issues that come with load times to explain it's not something as simple as some fanboys try to make it out to be. So for some unknown reason, there is now a huge glitch in the final Xemnas fight that plagues many of the players I watch into frustration. It is of course the throw move now having the issue of not spawning the reaction commands randomly to cause you to dodge his attacks. In PS2 KH2s, when you are in the throw move, the reaction command can be spammed to survive it completely, and speedruns throw in reflects during the RCs for major damage. However, in 2.5 versions, they just don't show up at random. Some people have the misconception that it's all timing, but I can assure you from tons of testing that is not the case. We've tried many different ways around this and haven't come up with any solution. We think it's likely tied to the load times, but have no proof if that is the case, so this is a separate part of the video to make sure it's stressed how bad this is. To be a tad fair, this glitch did happen in original 2FM2, but it's incredibly rare, but it got obviously amplified somehow in this version to the point of it not being a viable strat to use the reaction commands during that move, which leads me to believe they did not test this port at all for some reason because this would have been caught otherwise. The only safe way to deal with this move is to use Riku's session limit to write it out. This won't always work, though, because it means you want to constantly have MP in the fight, or else if he grabs you without MP, you could die. Some players will give crappy advice and say to get second chance or once more here and you're fine, but the game in no way ever requires you or recommends you get those two abilities, so that isn't a viable solution for some players, especially low level or level 1 players that won't even have those abilities. Either way, this glitch gets in the way of the experience of the fight and should warrant a fix by Square if a PS4 version is made. This is a bit of a low level complaint, but it is something that many players of original KH2 versions noticed pretty fast in playing 2.5. For some unknown reason, now a bunch of sound effects don't play throughout the game. This can range from attacks to even voice clips not triggering. Once again, this could be tied to load times being really bad, which a data install could fix, but if that is not the case, I hope this is fixed if a port is made. Here are some clips that are not played properly between original 2FM and 2.5. Lastly, we have the lack of a soft reset. Square was nice to put in at least a quit to menu option from save points, but it is really baffling that they refuse to put in a soft reset. It cannot possibly be that difficult considering it exists in other cage games just fine. It would be nice to not have to return all the way to a save point to get back to the title screen. This concludes all of the issues that should be fixed to make this a better port if it is put onto the PS4. There really isn't a reason for a port to have aspects that are worse than the PS2 KH2s. With some luck, perhaps Square may come across this video and work on these issues if a port is announced for the PS4, because I know I'm not the only one that is upset about the shoddy loading times, missing sound effects, game crashes, and one of my favorite fights getting ruined. Thanks for watching, hope this video taught people to be a bit more critical of the games they pay for instead of blindly accepting them as they are.